folks. Thomas Stevens here, ADC agent with Nuisance Wildlife Control. We have a mole job here. Customer called us. They had some moles coming up and making some trails in their yard. So we came and we set some. Uh, we think they came up because we had a warm spell. It's about mid-March right now. Had a warm spell. They were coming up after the food and stuff. But we got a cold snap coming back through. So if we don't have anything today, we're going to pool and set at a later date. So come along with us and see if we got anything. I'm going to swap to my uh, jersey gloves here for uh, scent control reasons. Of course, it really didn't matter now because we're pulling them, but whenever you're setting traps, you want to keep the scent down as much as possible so you don't take a chance of spooking the moles away. Here we have some no moles set. That one's still set. I think this one's set off. I think we got a mole in this one. There we go. There's one. That might be all we actually get from this property because usually it's one to three per acre, so we'll see how that goes. Unless there's young involved, but this one's still set. As you can see, the thing was turned a little bit there. I almost got my finger. But uh, so we got one in the first one. Looks like he was actually, might have been some shrews down in the hole because he got torn up a little bit. All right, well, we're going to put this patch back and Throw our other mold, no moles down here and go get on the other ones. Follow us. Our spear trap's still set. Alright, so here we are at our second set. Let's see what we have in here. Still set. And still set. We'll place this patch here and move along to the next one. Number three. That one's set off. I think I just set that off actually when I lifted that up. But that one's still set. Nothing in number three. Place this patch. Make it like we were never here. Now listen, we had our rookie set this trap here. So we'll see how he did on this one. Oh, I just set that one off. That one's empty. I was set. And that one was set too. Set this one back here. Spear trap's still up, so we know no, we don't have nothing in this one, but. The way this works is set it on your mold run and whenever the mold pushes up on that trigger, boom, goes down and gets him. Got two more to check here. Let me grab my bucket. Oh, looks like one actually dug up around this. Nope, still set. I have a theory as to why we caught that one up there. Water down here. Water drains down, obviously, with gravity, so he's probably up there trying not to drown. It's 
still set. And we're still set, so. All right. Now, could be because of that cold snap we had, or it could be this is just the only mole that uh, was doing all this damage at the time, so. We'll, uh, we'll come back once we get a warmer snap, and we'll set some more traps back if they still continue to have their problems. And we'll take care of it from there, but as of now, we got, we got one, so. That's pretty good for now, I suppose. All right, folks, so here we are. We caught this mole. Uh, customer was having some mole problems, so we came and set some mole traps. We caught this mole in the no mole trap. I love these things, by the way. They're very versatile and very easy to set. Uh, so overnight, we actually uh, we caught this mole, and we had a shrew. Uh, shrew came and tore him up after he had uh, passed away. But it's, uh, it's nature. So, uh, well, at least we know they have some shrews here, so. That's that. All right, folks. So uh, one last thing here before we let you go. Uh, I wanted to show you something that my dad showed me uh, when storing these traps. Uh, you want to take your little trigger device here and uh, bring it up. And we like to stick it in between these jaws. So that way whenever uh, you're getting them in the bucket in and out, you don't accidentally snag that and just break this chain. You lose your trigger and then you no more traps, no good. Uh, but anyways... That's how we like to store our traps, and uh, we'll hope to see you next time. Boom.